What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and it seems as if Pokemon finally has some new information coming out. Now, I can already I can already feel the energy of John Carlo Paramango 11 in this information because obviously as most of you guys may know, um, this dude's been really hyped about a new game potentially coming out or some kind of new information which may allude to the next main series Pokemon game and we may just have that today. Now. Just as a little bit of a forewarning, I have not looked at any of this information yet, so I'll be looking at this for the first time along with you guys, and we'll be breaking this all down as we go to see exactly what's going on here, but from apparently what's been posted on Twitter, I saw a little bit of stuff here and there, it's something big. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. So we're going to go to the browser right now, and we're going to just load up Cerebi. Man, I feel like I'm back in 2013 with this shit, and we do have some new information here, so let's see what's going on here. This update will be amended throughout the day, so be sure to check back. If you have any ideas for the site, please be sure to send them in. You know, standard stuff that they always say. Okay, so as you all know, Core Core was probably going to leak at some point either tonight or tomorrow. Um, now, this information I normally wouldn't have reported on because, you know, I mean, Pokemon announcements, usually if they're not main series, they're not... You no, know, it depends. Some some of the some of the spin-off games can be really fun and entertaining, like Mystery Dungeon and whatnot. But um, this one, this Core Core leak is big, so... Um, the first images from Core Core have leaked and revealed some new information or further details about Zygarde, and um, you all should know who Zygarde is. Zygarde can take many forms. Normal Zygarde is at 50% and is called Zygarde 50 form. The dog-like form when it is at 10% is called Zygarde 10 form. It has a sharp teeth and speed. The blob is the cell or Zygarde core and it becomes the brain of every form. Really? So John thought that, that he, he, John did think that obviously that little green blob was related to Zygarde at the end of the day and he's accurate but I mean it wasn't really that hard to figure out to be honest with you. The blob is the cell and becomes the brain of every form. Really now, the flat form is called Zygarde cell. New large form is called Zygarde perfect form. So that's the big, you know, attack on Titan Shingeki no Kyojin motherfucker. And it retains its dragon ground type. It is the system Pokemon and is 4.5 meters tall. God damn. And 610 kilograms is said to exceed Mega Xerneas. Wait, wait, excuse me. It's to exceed Xerneas and Yvatol in power. Really now? The new anime series is called Pokemon X, Y, and Z, of course. And is to come with Mega Evolution Act 4 starting on October 29th. It also reveals a new look for Greninja. The magazine mentions that it looks sort of like Ash's clothes. What the fuck is this? So these are the forms right now. Let's take a, let's see if we can um, see this in full size. Of course, this will all be linked in the description, but most of you dudes would know, you know, how to access Cerebi. Let's see what we got here, man, because this is further confirmation that Zargard is able to take a lot of forms now. So he becomes a really flat Pokemon depending on how much HP he has, a dog at 10%, and his regular form at... Like, this is a little bit hard to understand here. So he basically changes form throughout the battle regularly. And if you look at his design here in terms of his um his perfect form, he basically looks like Cell. His perfect form, wait a minute, what's this called? This is called Zygarde Perfect Form, yeah. So basically Cell's uh, <laughs> Cell Guard. Um, and Cell Guard here, it says that uh, he's more strong than Xerneas and Yvatol. And you can kind of see where they alluded to that because if you look at his um, design, you'll see that they have the blue cells over here. Well, the blue shiny parts that Zygarde has over here and they have the red oh god i have to really you know what in fact we're just going to look at this in a different tab open a new tab there we go and we're going to close this down over here you got to see all these images in their original form here we go okay can't look at that but whatever all right so this is mainly the important one then we're going to look at the greninja one later on but um you can see right here that he has red and blue which obviously can represent a lot of Pokemon, but I'm guessing that they're going for Xerneas and Yvatol here, and maybe he absorbs them in some kind of way or utilizes their energy. I mean, Zygarde, obviously he was going to be the main, you know, the, the star attraction of any further game that continues with X and Y, considering that he's a third legendary, but um, it's still a little bit unclear. The information that they gave us, it was detailed, but not 100%. Like, would he need to hold a special item to be able to turn into those forms depending on his HP? How much will his stats change? From the forms and how they look, it looks like they'll change quite radically. Could this be considered a mega evolution in the first place? Like, there's so much information that's being given to us, but at the same time, there isn't. So we have to assume a lot of these things. But um, this is still crazy to see. I'm glad that they're finally following up with Zygarde because I feel like he was the coolest one out of Xerneas and Yvatol. Um... Let me see. More. Let me look at the. Let me look over this one more time. 
The blob is the cell, zygote core, and becomes the brain of every form. The flat form is called zygote cell. Okay. New large form is called zygote perfect and retains its dragon ground type. Normal zygote is at 50%. It's called zygote 50. The dog life form is when he's at 10%. So zygote 50 is when he's at 50 HP and he turns into the dog at 10 HP. Or 10%. I mean, the percentages. You know what I mean. That's a really interesting concept, and it's something that we did kind of see with um, Darmanitan, where, you know, depending on his ability, he'd be able to change form at, you know, 50%, or I think it was 50%, but um, it's kind of cool to see that this is in use here, but not sure how practical it would be, or how radically his stats will change, but I mean, still, crazy information regardless. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, and if there's anything else about this in regards to, like, a new game or something crazy like this, I'll definitely let you guys know, but as of now, no new game's been announced. All that we know is that Zygarde has a lot of new forms, which don't really have an explanation behind them, but they, are the, they exist, so it's interesting. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.